Hello everybody and welcome back to Bridge Commander, that's Star Trek Bridge Commander Remastered. In this little scenario, and welcome back by the way to any viewers to this channel, uh, I mean, maybe expecting a few Bridge Commander videos. And here we are, we're back in it with the assimilated USS Ariel. I'm going to be the USS uh, Valkyrie, also assimilated uh, Galaxy Class vessel. We're going to go up against a humongous Federation star base. That's pretty much it. We're going to be in the Basin Rift. We're going to be in the galaxy. Fortunately, not an assimilated galaxy bridge. And we're in. There's a Federation star base. We're going to riddle it. We're going to destroy it. We've got a hail. We are the Borg. There we go. Lower your we will have your and are we firing? Yeah, oh yeah, we're just going to switch our um, uh, torpedo type from hail to warp plasma torpedoes, and there they go. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. Where is the Valkyrie? We don't know. Reverse camera. Okay, there's a star base. There's the Valkyrie. There's the assimilated uh, Prometheus as well. The aerial. And they look good, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, we're back out. Brilliant. We're chasing. Oh, that's so good. Flyby. Such a glorious looking ship. Firing our warp plasma type torpedoes there. Uh, we are just knocking this thing. Uh, let's go with uh, sensor array. Which is right at the top. So we've got to change our position here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think uh, I think we're we're doing all right here. Let's just say Admiral Picard didn't quite succeed in uh, taking out Borg Cube, hidden in the Jupiter atmosphere. The Queen also, um, and um, the Queen simulated the Enterprise D, renamed it the Valkyrie for some reason, and. Um, they also, uh, in the thick of it, decided to assimilate uh, a Prometheus-class vessel as well. They called it the Ariel. Stunning. Two of them. We appear to be doing all right at the moment. We're attacking, you know, another Federation starbase. We've already taken out the one that's uh, orbiting or stationary at Earth. And um, the Federation decided to set one up in the Basin Rift. Fantastic. Just see inside um, the station as well. I might uh, do a video where I'm just doing a stunt and see if I can just get in without using a, a, a docking command. There we go. We've lost absolutely nothing to our shields or any damage. Not none at all Federation Starbase is looking pretty dead on the moment it hasn't got any shields by the looks of it, zero, zero, zero on all sides um, yeah, so they're just well under 50% now of either, well, just their hull rating we are absolutely blitzing the hell out of it Oh, we're... What are we doing? Oh, we're going away, coming back for another flyby. Let's have a go. Yeah, coming in with our disruptors and our torpedoes again. I think we've got phases. Jesus. Not really knocking out the sensor array. I think it must be sat more on top. Starbase as opposed to like, just hitting it side on. Yeah, we're not making a difference. So, so class. and these two vessels. Excellent design work, excellent weapons, sounds. Yeah. Top draw.
I did think the Starbase might give us a little bit more, uh, a bit more of a tickle, but kind of hasn't. And I think I did a video a long time ago where I pitted the USS Valkyrie up against DS9. I think DS9 actually almost maybe took it just slightly a little bit more, but um... hey ho. Doing all right. I think I might. Actually, no. I might go for operations. Where's operations? Oh, that might be on the top as well. We're going to have to reposition. Yeah, somewhere right there. Oh, we've got a hole right through the station as well. I think that's where that fusion reactor is. No, that's at the bottom. Might as well target that. Make some more holes. <laughs> yeah. No, we've done well yet. Uh, Starbase, I don't know if it's even firing its, its weapons anymore. It doesn't look like it. Although I think they're topside. Oh, Jesus, even the aerial is firing at the fusion reactor now. Last stand. Torpedoes going in. Oh. Oh, it's a big explosion. We should really uh, fly away here because we could get caught in the explosion. And did. Whoa. That took all of our shields away and caused us like one bit of damage. That's not bad at all. Minimal damage. Oh, they must have suffered from the explosion as well. Interesting. Well, there we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, tell me what your thoughts are. Let me know what you think about this battle, what you'd like to see next. And um, we'll go from there. I just love this assignment. I still love the Borg sound of the, the engines. Um, but there we are. So thank you very much, past, present, and future watchers, for watching. Cheerio.